Hi, I'm Christian Posta, Global Field TTO at Solo.io. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about K-Gateway. K-Gateway is an open source API gateway built on Envoy Proxy. You're probably wondering why are we talking about API gateways? That's a solved problem. They've been around for about 15 years. Um, but what we've seen when we talk to organizations looking to modernize their platform is that they, they build their their platform interface for technology like Kubernetes. And they build their CI CD systems. Uh, they build their observability systems and, uh, and various tooling and automation to get services into Kubernetes and deployed into Kubernetes. But then when it comes to their traffic management, they don't modernize that. Instead, they use their existing API infrastructure or, or management um, that doesn't fit very well with the automation and platform engineering approach from, uh, uh, you know, that they're doing on top of Kubernetes. And some of the drawbacks here is that it's not, not GitOps friendly that it doesn't understand Kubernetes pods and, and services, so it can't, can't route inside Kubernetes. And to make changes to the system, there's often proprietary UIs which require you to open tickets for another team to um, go in and use the UI. And that causes uh, a lot of friction because now you've used a, a lot of the automation and tooling to quickly deliver your apps, but then you are opening tickets to the uh, API management team to at some point go make changes to the API management system. So what, we, what we've done with, um, with K-Gateway is can we modernize this part? Can we use more modern technology and um, technologies that was built specifically f to live in a dynamic, configurable environment like, uh, like Kubernetes. So with, with K-Gateway, what we want to see is, you know, we have our, our Kubernetes clusters. And again, we've used CI CD and uh, modern um, observability tools and automation. Get based workflows and so on to deploy our applications. So with K Gateway, what we can do is a uh, more modern API gateway that lives within Kubernetes, knows how to communicate and load balance across the various services running in the cluster, right, and is driven by. Declarative configuration in Kubernetes that'd be custom resources through some sort of uh, GitOps workflow, and is used at uh, the ingress layer and can be distributed out across multiple clusters to, to support um, uh, more scale. But we need a solution for things like service-to-service -service communication, and what we've seen in the past is either folks will um, try to call out to the uh, existing API management solution in what we call uh, hairpin, or they'll um, try to push code into their apps that, uh, that try to implement some of the API management's uh, capabilities like uh, authentication authorization, or they'll deploy gateways or sidecars down next to each individual application. Now, some of these approaches are better than others, but there's still drawbacks to, uh, to all of them. In the, uh, in the hairpin situation, we are completely leaving the cluster, taking a gigantic hop through a system that, as I explained earlier, could be a little bit slow to update or creates a single point of failure and multiple hops coming in, coming in back into the, uh, the cluster when the client, you know, the, the, the sender and receiver might have just been in the same might have even been on the same node. So it doesn't make much sense for it to, uh, to pop back out uh, that way. 
Alternatively, running sidecars or these little gateways in the cluster with each instance of the application, that can create a lot of overhead, coupling between the infrastructure and the application, and, uh, and generally create more, uh, more bloat than is necessary. In the K-Gateway model, what we can do with the gateway is actually run it as an east-west gateway in the cluster, and even per namespace. Um, you can run these, these gateways, and if you leverage this in with the Z-Tunnel architecture, which provides transparent MTLS and, and mutual authentication between services, um, you can layer in the gateway so that now any communication between services goes through these, um, these intermediate or micro gateways and uh, also take advantage of MTLS and Spiffy that, that uh, the zero trust is provided by, uh, by Zetone. So that gives us a foundation for layer seven communication between the, the components in the, in the east-west direction and potentially even across multiple clusters. Um, but lastly, we also need to solve for traffic that might be leaving the clusters, going to uh, potentially some LLM or SaaS-based services. And in the, in the older model, what that would look like is basically just routing out to um, L3 type firewalls and and out to the uh, out to the internet. You don't have the same uh, layer seven or fine grain application layer authentication, authorization, filtering, that kind of stuff for for traffic leaving an environment like this. Uh, but with with K Gateway, what we can do is um, force the traffic out through an egress um, proxy called you know the the, the K Gateway. It's, a, it's the same K Gateway implementation. Um, but now what we can do is enforce uh, routing and load balancing and um, prompt guard railing and token-based rate limiting to things like uh, AI models or, or LLMs. Uh, so in, in this case, you can see the, uh, the, uh, the gateway can be used for ingress. It can be used in a micro gateway deployment per namespace for east-west, and it can be used as an egress gateway for um, AI type, type workloads. Now, the, the last type of application that we're seeing more and more of now is the, is the um, AI agents, right? And now, so AI agents, which are being deployed into Kubernetes, need to call out to um, tools, put likely over MCP server here, um, and they might be calling other AI agents. Uh, and that is likely over the A to A protocol. Now, if you know anything about those, those protocols, they are stateful protocols. They can involve uh, sophisticated multiplexing and demultiplexing calls, and they don't have uh, anything built into the protocol for security, for observability and tracing and so on. So for those use cases, we also have a, uh, a, a data plane called the Agent Gateway that can be used to proxy and enforce security and observability to the MCP servers as well as to the, uh, the AI agents uh, over A to A. So this, this data plane understands A to A and MCP. But the, the, this, this data plane and the API gateway uh, ingress east-west or egress gateways can all be governed and configured and controlled with the K-Gateway data uh, control plane. So gateway control plane. And I'm, I'm drawing it separately from the Kubernetes clusters, but they actually do live within the, uh, the Kubernetes clusters. And they control the various um, data planes. So from one control plane and um, you know, the, the, gate, the K gateway implementations that, that we have here, you can get unified access, uh, API control, um, even agentic communication control from one single, uh, one single place. So this is all open source. Go check out kgateway.dev and let us know what you think.